everybody, it's Tyler here at the Sunshine Showdown signature event. I'm here with 3588X. This is Galaxy. They just tied the world skills record at 189 and a phenomenal machine. This team very skills focused, so we'll be diving more into some of the different aspects of this robot that really made it happen. I want you to pay attention to the drivetrain and how they really focus on that, especially for their park, and just making that for skills as well, too. A lot of other great things we'll be discussing on this robot. Let's learn more about them here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Jason, a lot to discuss on this uh, robot here. Let's start off with your drivetrain. What makes it so unique and special, especially for skills? All right, so for our drivetrain, we realized that two wheels was the most important for skills because going over the park and collecting the balls needs two wheels. If you have any more, there's a high chance of you driving over the balls, which is the worst part of skills. And so what we did was we removed the third wheel that would usually go here and which would be attraction and we also moved this up a whole hole so that it wouldn't interfere with the park and additionally we added these sleds here so that we could smoothly glide across the the parking zone and be able to collect the balls efficiently lots of in this robot here one of the other things we're talking about was kind of some of your rubber band placements yes. can you just describe a little bit more about that all right so for our rubber bands we initially made them extremely tight and the issue with this was that they would jam and cause our middle school, middle goal D score, middle goal scoring to not work. And the main issue with that is that we have to go pretty slow on our middle goal, and which means that we can't have much friction on our intake as a whole. So how we did this was that we made our rubber bands pretty loose so that when the robot intakes, they, the balls can slide down so there's little to no friction on our robot and intake and when you middle goal it really easily pushes them out because there's no resistance of the rubber bands pushing the balls up I want to talk a little about kind of your decision to really focus on skills this year can you just describe a bit more on uh, kind of the ethos of your team on wanting to go that route and and of course what do you think has been so successful for you to get such a high score I feel like mainly for skills, we decided on moving that because last year we also used skills as the backbone for our qualification to Worlds. And that was like the most consistent way we found out to get into Worlds. And so this year we focused more on skills. We originally tried um, tournament gameplay, but it really didn't work out too well for us. So we changed our bot design to fit more with the strills, uh, like the skills strategy. And this really um, is the most consistent way to get um, high rankings as well as um, a basically guaranteed qualification to Worlds because um, usually it's around top five to top 10 in the country are admitted into Worlds. And with tournament play, it's there's some inconsistencies with um, luck and matchmaking while skills is um, very rigid and hard set so that um, there isn't any luck factor in and taking out the variables right for yeah the, what went right for you in your 189 uh, set of skills matches I feel like for our first um, Auton the issue was that we our rubber bands were too loose and so we had to tighten them a tiny bit and we also needed to um, put down our uh, D score mechanism um, so that we would be able to align properly for middle goal because middle goal is the most important and key factor in our autonomous which really makes us stand out from other um, skills because with middle goal we can get 17 additional points which allow us to um, pull away from our competitors. Because you're scoring seven in the middle goal yeah. during that, right? That's really, like, how are you actually getting seven in there? We see so many other teams, they try to do that and they end up knocking one or two out that way. What what has led to success for you in that route? So we decided 
to change our code specifically for middle goal, we have a button that allows us to change the speed at which we outtake, which allows us to score um, with a proper amount of speed to just barely push them in and not to push them out because the middle goal barely fits seven balls. Let's pass over to D-Win talk more about uh, some of the other mechs on your robot as well too, especially uh, I want to hear more about your sensors, but you got a lot of uh, aspects to go into this and make your robot successful, so tell me more about it. So for tournament and teamwork match play, we realized that the D-score was almost, if not more important than actual scoring itself. So we've really strengthened our D-score mechanism here with a second additional C channel and a triangle bracing, allowing for it to be really rigid and be able to push balls and even possibly the robot in auto. Uh, additionally, for our match load mechanism, for our hard stop, we have standoffs here that also act as a funnel. So the balls do not clog up on the sides, making it hard for us to intake them into our bot and score. So this basically makes our skills and autos all very consistent. Another thing that makes our autos consistent is the amount of sensors we have on our bot. We have four distance sensors on all four cardinal directions, and they basically tell the bot where it is at any given time, which also happens to have this back one here, which makes our intaking and outtaking extremely efficient due to when this distance sensor sees the goal, then it'll automatically start the intake and score to save us time so it doesn't have to hit its timeout in code. We also have uh, Omni, so an Odom pod here, mm -hmm. which allows us to have basically better movements and kind of more accurate autos, just letting us know where we are even better. We use a screw joint here instead of an axle, which we do by basically fitting an insert through the whole thing. And this makes it very smooth and our auto is all very smooth. Now I gotta ask you, you know, your team's been very skill-centric here. Uh, should you qualify uh, for Worlds uh, through skills? Does that strategy change at all at Worlds? Will you be looking at building more of something for teamwork or are you gonna stick to uh, really trying to get that high skill score? So kind of going on what Jason said, last year we were also quite skill-focused before Worlds, but during Worlds we decided to become more competitive for the basically the teamwork itself and we didn't even actually do skills last year for Worlds. Sure. So we are probably planning on doing around the same thing, trying to maximize our teamwork, but we do skills basically for qualification. Yeah. Well, Galaxy, congratulations on an incredible uh, world tying skill score. We can't wait to see how you do a course here at the Rest of Sunshine Showdown. A lot of great things for teams to learn from, especially if you're looking at getting a high skill score as well too. So good luck the rest of the way and thanks for being on Pits and Parts. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.